hi guys and welcome back to my vlog this is my fifth vlog post so you, ha you haven't seen the first four go ahead and watch those if you've seen my last post you know that i have come back to birmingham alabama to return to school and beach volleyball and so far i've been having a really good time um still being careful with covid and everything and but still having some social interaction for the businesses this week i finally finished the google shopping ads um, I'm super happy that I finished them because it took a lot longer than I thought it would um, But they're not actually running right now. They're just set up waiting to go once we have the website updated I mentioned before that we were updating one of the websites for one of the businesses and that's still underway Unfortunately, we had some issues with the developer that we had originally selected because he wasn't responding very in a timely manner and we're really hoping to get this done as soon as possible. So we've had to switch to another develop web developer. Um, he's working on it now. So I'm thinking in the next few days, we'll have the website up and ready. I'm really excited to see how the new website is gonna turn out. I'm super excited for the web developer to finish it and just see how the improved landing page leads to a higher conversion rate. I'm super excited to track that and I'm looking forward to all the research and all the work being done into it paying off. Um, right now, I kind of feel like we're on hold for that site because I've been doing a lot of things like Facebook ads, Google shopping ads, Google text ads, but they're just on hold right now because we're waiting for the landing page to be improved in order to run those. Another exciting thing for that same business is that we are also updating the photography and adding in some product videos. So I actually just got off the phone with a potential photographer and he's going to send me a quote and we're going to work to get that done. I'm super excited about that because it's going to personalize our page a lot more and I think really lead to a higher conversion rate, which is the ultimate goal right now. So I did a lot of little things this past week. Um, the one big thing that I did, I already mentioned it, I finished the Google Shopping ads. So I'm gonna kind of give you guys just a brief walkthrough of how I did that, how I accomplished it, and any key takeaways from that process. So as I mentioned, it took me a really long time to set this up. I had a lot of issues with connecting the Google Merchant Center to my Google Ads account and also just like, all my emails were screwed up. I have a few different emails and I connected one of my emails to the ad account and I didn't realize and I was trying to connect a different one. So just a lot of issues. It was really annoying and took a while to kind of figure all of these issues out. But now I have them figured out and I have set up a Google ad shopping campaign. Um, it's just currently paused right now, but I'll show you guys kind of how to go through a Google shopping ads campaign and how to create one and yeah. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Google Ads account. As you can see in the top, it says none of your ads are running, your campaigns and ad groups are paused or removed. That's because they're paused right now since our landing page is not doing well. So I'll get in and start a campaign and show you guys that. So on the main campaign page, you're going to click create a new campaign and you're going to press create a campaign without a goals guidance. And then it's going to be a shopping campaign. And then there's a section where you have to link your merchant center to your Google Ads account. I can't show you guys because that'll reveal my website, but you will have to do that. That was a process that I struggled with a lot, so I wish I could show you guys in more detail that. And then you are also going to select the country where products are sold. And so for me, that's the United States. And then you want to avoid the smart shopping campaign and just press the standard shopping campaign. So the name of our campaign is going to be Top of Funnel Shopping. Uh, I had to put two because I already have an existing campaign with that name. For bidding, our bid strategy is cost per click and you want to make sure this is unclicked because we really want to baby this account at first and we don't want Google making any decisions that we don't want to make. For budget, you can make it anything that's appropriate for your company. But you want to make it slightly big enough because you've put the work into creating this campaign. So if you just set it at like a dollar a day, it's not really going to have the ability to run the campaign to full extent. Our campaign priority is low. And then for locations, if we're following the dropshipping model, you want that to be the United States. And for start and end dates, um, that's for whenever you want to start and end the campaign. So after we press save and continue, we're taking this page to choose our ad group type. So we're going to do product shopping because we're creating an ad for a single product and then ad group name, top of funnel, shopping to. And for bid, we're going to set that as 75 cents. Um, 
and that's the cost per click. So after you press submit, then you have all of your products in. The next thing that you want to do is separate your products by product ID. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys that because it'll reveal my products, but yeah. The next step after that is to create your listing. There are many websites and sources available online that can tell you how to do that, and I'll put some here. So that's my brief overview of Google Shopping Ads. I'd recommend that if you're setting up a campaign that you do plenty of research and look for different YouTube videos and different articles online because there's a lot of stuff out there about these um, campaigns and Google Shopping Ads in general. And a lot of people, including myself especially, have trouble or just difficulty setting these up and that's a pretty normal thing. So it's important to kind of consult lots of different sources and then figure out which is going to work best for you and what's going to work best for your store and what's going to be the easiest to set up and most accessible in the long term. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this brief overview and this little catch up into what's going on with me this week. Next week should have more exciting content for you guys. See you next week.